when getting some questions after walking away from the podium, he said this. Take a look. What do you say to the folks in India? Well, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to just the last question I'll take. And I, I'm really going to be in trouble. He's going to be in trouble. But I thought he was the leader of the free world. I thought he. I thought that was the 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 job that he was doing. But no one was pulling the strings behind the scenes. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. And of course, he's going to say, "Well, they had other things to do, and we're trying to keep on a schedule." Yada yada. That's not the thing you say, Joe. When everyone in the country, including some people in your party, are concerned about who's really running the White House, who's really running the party. Again, just. Be smarter. Be smarter. Say things that are different. But we aren't done with America's most disastrous family. And they, gosh, they are. This isn't because I'm a Republican. They're just a a walking disaster. Because his cokehead son, Hunter, who should be in prison, really pick, pick a reason, a number of reasons, is, of course, because Democrat elites live in a different world. Of course, he's being rewarded again, yet again. You're struggling through this pandemic, through this tyrannical control, through all these ridiculous policies that, by the way, you don't have to follow. But you're struggling. Business is struggling. Family's struggling. He's been absolutely fine. He's been absolutely fine. And he will now, Hunter Biden, be teaching a class at Tulane University. Gary, we do have some bad Apple Republicans. You're right. There's no doubt about that. There's problems on both sides. But Hunter Biden, sidestep, sorry. Looking at all the comments flowing in. Keep them coming, guys. Please hit that like button, as Gang of Four just said. And keep commenting here on the show. It helps us beat the algorithm to the best that we can over on YouTube. But Hunter Biden's going to be teaching a class on fake news. I mean, you can't make this shit up. Honestly. There's a lot of things you could say, a lot of obvious things and directions you could go with this story. But who, I mean, and the the title or the picture, something I forget was what was even out there for the show today. But who thinks it's a good idea? To put an addict, a pedophile, around a bunch of young adults, college kids. How how, how does that make any sense to anyone? 